Hi guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Today, I'm incredibly excited to present to you the most breakthrough, or say the latest breakthrough in drone technology, the Fox Tech AYK250 Pro V2. So let's check the appearance. The AYK250, it is a 4 plus 1 typical VTOL. But what's making it uh, distinguished from other drones? Let me tell you, it has a very unique feature and a very impressive feature. It is the first one, the first drone to use the vehicle grade integrated CAN bus system. It's very nice. Okay, the AYK250 Pro is using the CAN F9P, which is a, the first orientation system using the CAN bus signal. So, uh, adding the reliability and the stability. Okay, so also the drone has the CAN DLVR, which is the kind of a component that we uh, eliminate the use of uh, airspeed calibration making the flight so easy and then the pmu which is uh, the most the biggest feature i like is uh, integrate uh, an isolation system that we can separate a high power system from the flight controllers and the sensors giving you a very clean and a very stable uh, power supply making the flight safer and uh, very stable another great feature about this ESC is using the CAN D-Shot protocol. So the ESC is using the high-speed D-Shot 1200 uh, signal delivery and also is using the ESC telemetry, which is the making the signal transmission very, very stable and very fast. This integrated CAN bus system on board is linking all devices together, including the servos, the ESCs, motors, air speedometers, the PMU, all things together. It's the making the whole connection very fast, very stable, and the EMI resistance, and to make the whole flight truly, truly very, very safe. And also, what I have to mention, if you want to do the troubleshooting, the CAN bus signal transmission back to the ground station is making the hosting a lot easier. So talking about the ESC telemetry, uh, it's uh, using the CAN bus signal to transmit all the necessary data back to the ground station, including the temperature and also the voltage, uh, current and the RPM of the propeller directly. You can see them directly on the ground station uh, devices. And also the very uh, high-tech, the notch filtering system is going to filter out all the shakes, the vibrations, and so you can have an incredibly smooth flight experience. Okay, as you can see, this plane is using the dual GPS system. You can see two antennas. And actually we have the two uh, CAN F9P a GPS model built inside and this door or redundancy system can give you a very good reliability and also this system can give you an information like attitude, very precise attitude and the navigation signals. So it can be great helpful when you want to fly in a high electromagnetic field like the missions to do the iron mine or the power line inspections. Also, what we have added to this plane is the motor lock, or say the propeller lock technology. Let's see here, if I move to other places, uh, you can see the propeller is always for, uh, facing to the forward direction. Uh, what does it do? Actually, this kind of technology can greatly improve the flight efficiency due to less wind resistance coming in this way. So the motor will lock in the fixed fin mode to this position. All four motors are doing the same thing. So uh, as we did the calculation, the efficiency improvement could be reaching the remarkable 20%.
As you can see, the plane is using the two T-total tube. One is here, one is here. Uh, this one is using the DLVR air speedometer, and this one is using the Sky E air, air speedometer. So what's the difference and uh, what does it do? The one is a DLVR sensor can give you a very good reading, very high precision reading, and this one is a redundancy, give you a very good safety. The whole dual air speedometer system can give you a very good reliability and uh, you can fly in nearly all circumstances like the uh, uh, low temperature or say the high humidity or even when we're facing the freezing pitot tube you still get a very good rating due to the inner heating system on the Sky E air speedometer. Also we use the CAN bus servos on this plane. So uh, we have in total five servos all the CAN bus signal. So what does it do? Uh, what's the benefit of a CAN bus signal servo? Actually, by using the, this kind of servo, we can actually uh, do the after-flight servo analysis to check if there's any, anything wrong goes on in during the flight, or we can also prevent any danger or damage by doing the pre-flight examination by using the servo data like the servo position, like the servo current directly showed on the ground station. Okay, in conclusion, the Fox AVK 250 Pro Vito, it's not just a drone, not just a simple drone, it's like, like a cutting edge piece of technology here. It's using the, all the cutting edge uh, high tech on, on this drone, it's using the canvas signal all over its body. So it's giving us a very good uh, connection inside of the body and a very good flying reliability. So if you are interested in this drone, we are going to release this and put on our website, which is the foxtechfpv.com. And thank you for joining us today and please stay tuned for more exciting news from Foxtech.